makes me want to cry. As you can see, Phoenix has a lot of sores from lying on concrete and is incredibly thin. We had never seen anything that bad. As soon as we saw her, we were like, oh my God, we got to get her out of here. There was a trail riding operation in Grand Turk. And then during COVID, it shut down and they left all their horses. Phoenix was so quiet and just, you know, half asleep the whole time. She had no soul. I just thought that there's no way she's going to make it. She could hardly walk. So this lady is Miss Roxy. She is supposedly a pregnant man. Roxy was probably a couple of hundred pounds underweight. He told us she was pregnant, but she was so skinny that I was not convinced. There were such quiet horses. It was basically starvation mode. At the beginning, they had zero personality. Phoenix was the worst. But the second we brought her home, she changed her eyes and she's been on a mission ever since. So it has been just a few days over a week since they got here. These guys are still super skinny, but they have certainly gained weight. They're doing so much better. They're so much more hydrated. Phoenix has been showing energy, which is nice because at the beginning, all she did was just kind of mope around and she's so much happier. Yes, she's still very skinny, but she is eating like a trooper. We're trickle feeding all of them and she is looking so much better. So Roxy is pregnant and we had the first foal kick yesterday that we felt. So she's doing really good. All her weight literally went straight to the baby. So she still had a bony back and bony butt, but her belly just got huge. Of course, we were worried about the baby and we were just hoping she's not too far along. Hopefully she's going to hold it in so she can get some more meat in her bone. And this poor foal inside is going to get a chance to develop a bit. Hi. Then he came out and I mean, he has no issues whatsoever. <laughs> Except thinking he's just the boss of the whole place. Roxy is just like steady. She's a fantastic mother. Roxy had been a fail horse and now ride Roxy and pull the baby along. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> Walking in the water, it's literally just water therapy. Roxy loves it. Phoenix is just a big goofball. Hi, Phoenix. Ooh wants to have a good time and curious about everything. Weight-wise, she's fine and she's got plenty of energy and she feels great. She got those healing properties. She's got tears with healing powers and she can carry immensely heavy loads like her backstory. When you start working with a horse like that, there's a whole different attitude with them towards you. It's like a gratefulness that you feel from them. And they're all part of the family. <laughs>